Marriage is a new chapter for all couples. It's all that most girls think about. Having a perfect life partner is everyone's dream but imagine all that you dreamed of could turn into a nightmare. In this episode we are going to discuss a similar story of a South Asian Muslim girl who was killed just because she posted news about her divorce on social media. Sonia Khan was her name and she shared news about her divorce on TikTok to show people especially women in her community who might have also been in a similar situation. Whereby because of culture women are forced to stay in an abusive relationship but first let's talk about who Sonia Khan was and what was her background. Sonia was born in 1993 and was a first generation child of Pakistani Muslim immigrants. She was the daughter of Haider Farooq Khan and Shazia Khan and her hometown was in Chattanooga, Tennessee where she graduated from the Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. She went on to graduate from the University of Tennessee Chattanooga where she double majored in psychology. At the age of 25 Sonia decided she wanted to support her family, so she got a job as a flight attendant. She was very happy with her job as she loved traveling to new places and meeting new people to explore their culture. Aside from working at the airline Sonia had an interest of photography and video shots. So working as a flight attendant she saved money for herself to buy a brand new DSLR camera. Where she freelanced professional photography. She was so good in her profession that she became a profound photographer in the area. After getting lots of work she decided to quit her job as a flight attendant and open her own photography website. Which was quite a success as she earned more than her previous job. To promote her work, she also opened a TikTok and Instagram account. Sonia was an independent woman who lived in her own apartment and supported her family financially. As having an Asian background her family decided that she should now get married and start her own family. So, when her marriage topic came up, she decided now was the time to introduce her boyfriend to the family. Rahil Ahmad was his name and they had been in a five-year-long relationship. Sonia's parents eventually agreed and in June 2021 the two had a beautiful Pakistani wedding. Rahil was a perfect match for Sonia or that is what she thought. After the marriage Rahil was a completely different person. The reality of Rahil and Sonia's relationship was something else. According to Sonia's family and friends Rahil was a manipulative, lying and controlling husband. He tried his best to keep her away from family and friends. Also, when the two were getting married he lied to Sonia that he was 30 years old, when he was actually 36 years old. Rahil was also a possessive and controlling husband where he would always keep an eye on what Sonia was doing, whom she was interacting with, what she was wearing and even wanted to know which type of clients Sonia was interacting with. He was not employed at that time so Sonia thought that he might be stressed that's why he is acting weird. So, she decided to remain patient to save her marriage from falling apart. After the marriage she wasn't as loud bold, and expressive as she was. She couldn't even share her problems with anyone anymore. So, one day she got frustrated and told her friends about how unhappy she was with the marriage and that Rahil was going through mental issues and because of that Sonia did not feel safe at home. Sonia wanted to get a divorce but as having a background from a Pakistani family who thought that divorce was a disgrace to the family, so she did not go with the idea of divorce. However, her family and friends convinced her that she should get a divorce and gave her all the support she needed. She finally filled for divorce after going though hell. However, Rahil and his family were not happy with the decision at all. Even though the divorce was finalized Rahil still kept pleading to Sonia, to come back and said that this was a mistake and the universe wanted them to stay together. But when Sonia did not agree Rahil showed his true colors. He used to follow Sonia occasionally and if Sonia ever spoke to any man, he would harass her on phone calls and many times he barged into her apartment. So. To escape from this stalker Sonia got a restraining order against Rahil. And changed her door locks into more secured ones. She did everything she could to stay safe from the stalker who was now her ex-husband. Everything was going well for Sonia, and she enjoyed her life to the best. She decided to move into a new apartment far away from Rahil. She used to post TikTok videos about her life and how well she was doing. Sonia gained positive comments through her social media accounts. While on the other hand she received negative comments from few of her relatives and Rahil's family. However, that didn't affect Sonia. Rahil also stopped stalking Sonia and she thought everything is back to normal. At the age of 29 Sonia decided to move back to Tennessee to live with her friend she was very happy and excited to start a new chapter in life, but that happiness was not going to last for long, the same day Sonia was leave for Tennessee from Chicago as the same day Rahil came to Chicago. He was angry and he drove 11 hours from Georgia to Sonia's apartment. When Rahil's family noticed that their son is missing they immediately reported their son to the Alpharetta police who then contacted the Chicago police to do a welfare check in Sonia's apartment. Perhaps they realized that something was not right. 
while for Rahil he already barged into Sonia's apartment. Sonia was present at home that day, finishing her remaining packing and the two got into an argument which Sonia's neighbor heard but as she didn't know Sonia that well she walked away. But from far away the same neighbor heard gunshot and immediately ran into the apartment. Where Sonia was shot dead at the back of the head and for Rahil he was found with a gun and a suicide note lying down shot in the neck and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This was a really sad case that shocked many. Especially the many followers she had in her account and that should not happen to anyone. I think everyone should have a right to make their own decisions. My condolences to the victim's family and with that we come to an end with today's episode. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. Thank you for watching.